occurred the 20th of august 1975 one hour zero minutes and zero seconds local location fort wayne just outside of iron usa shape other duration 15 seconds no of observers three characteristics lights on object triangular shaped craft spotted on highway outside of fort wayne rest area janitor corroborates sighting my friend and i were driving in my friend's pickup truck on the highway about 50 miles or so outside of fort wayne indiana it was a quiet night and no traffic on the road and we're just coasting along suddenly my friend pointed up at the sky my god he said that's a ufo look up there i put my head out the window and sure enough there was this big black triangular maybe closer to a boomerang shaped ship hovering directly overhead it was low too maybe 40 50 feet not even as high up as a trapeze act act in a circus on the underside there was a bright red light on one side and a green light on the other side both lights flashed alternately and kind of fast there was no sound whatsoever then all of a sudden it swooped up at full speed from its stationary hovering position i mean it didn't start slow and accelerate as soon as it moved it was already at full speed it went in a parabolic arc to a position about three miles away but much higher up in the sky still in full sight and it was a clear night anyways so i never lost sight of the thing it couldn't have taken more than two seconds maybe less to travel that tremendous distance then it just stopped for a few microseconds and hovered there then it flew really fast in a total reversal of direction and die appeared from sight i was dumbfounded as was my friend we both knew there was no technology on earth and neither russia nor america was anywhere close to the kind of maneuvering that we had just seen the silent hovering the speed the abrupt stop no deceleration either it just stopped dead then the reversal of direction again at a phenomenal speed again no acceleration it just took off at full speed flew across the length of the sky and was gone we can never mention this to anyone i said to my friend he agreed we were both so rattled that we pulled into the first rest area we came to as we got out of the truck the little old guy apparently the caretaker or janitor walked right over to us well he said did you boys see the ufo my friend and i had just promised each other we wouldn't ever speak of it to anybody but here is this guy talking about it yes i said i was really relieved that someone else had seen it did you see it too oh yeah he said it's been around here for a couple of hours now the sheriff was just here and he got a call went over to a local farm where they saw it flying around over their fields it was about 28 ago and i haven't mentioned it to very many people and the ones that i have mentioned it to either don't believe me or else tell me about their own experience but nobody else has the kind of corroboration that my friend and i had that is all i can remember occurred the 15th of september 1980 21 hours 0 minutes and 0 seconds local location fort wayne indiana usa shape cylinder duration one minute no of observers two characteristics lights on object crystal clear view of object very mechanical and unimaginably fast while watching tv my brother sitting by the window jumped up quickly and looked out the window in disbelief he said excitedly that he noticed a bright light in the large bean field situated behind our home he said that he saw it rise slightly and then come toward our house at an incredible speed and that it was well lit. He then said that it seemed to fly over our house. Curious, I lead him outside the front door to see if we could get a glimpse of it coming over our house. The sky was crystal clear and I saw nothing either maybe he had witnessed a helicopter rise out of the field. Suddenly, when looking back toward the house we both witnessed another craft, cylindrically shaped with lights on it come flying up over our home from the same direction, the rear of our house. I estimate that the vehicle was a prox. 1 to 2 miles high and a bit larger than a city bus. I do not know if it was another craft OR the same one circling around OR something. I can tell you this it flew so quickly to a point above our house that it was mind boggling it left a light trail and amazingly stopped, I mean like, instantio USLY, so quickly that you would think that the occupants would have been thrown through the window. It hovered above US for a few moments, as if it were observing US and then it arched up with the right of the moon and flew away at a speed unimaginable. Literally the speed of light. We watched it twinkle out of sight in the blink of an eye. Astounded we called the local police, WHO instead of treating US as pranksters, asked US to wait until they retrieved the proper form, YES, they had a form for UFO encounters. The police said that they get many calls and document them all. I swear to all WHO read this that it is true and that had you witnessed this as clearly as we did you would be fascinated. Occurred the 26th of October 1987 0 hours 0 minutes and 0 seconds local location Fort Wayne Indiana USA shape unknown duration 
8 minutes no of observers. 1 characteristics. Lights on object UFOs seen in featuring Wayne, Indiana and in Dayton, Ohio on the same night in 1987 I was working on a master's degree in music, deleted, at Western Michigan University in Kalamazoo, Michigan. I was going home to Dayton, Ohio for the weekend so it was probably a Friday. I am not sure of the date it was cold outside and I think in late fall when this occurred. I wish I had written down the date. I had traveled the same route at least 50 times since I was married and tried to get back to Dayton every other weekend. I was coming out of featuring Wayne around midnight on RT 30, 33. There is a long stretch there where there is a McDonald's. Up ahead of me I saw a huge bright white light that was about the height of lights at a football stadium. I wondered what it could be since I had never seen it before traveling this route. It came closer and closer moving slowly. I pulled off of the road into the McDonald's parking lot and got out of my van and stood watching it. It appeared to be very large with the white light on the front and it had a green, a red and a purple light on the body of it. It was large and flew slow and silently. I know this sounds weird but I could not make out the shape of the craft even as close as I was to it. I could only see the lights and from the spacing of the lights I knew it was very large. It flew slowly towards featuring Wayne and then disappeared out of sight. I looked all the way back to Dayton that night hoping to see another but did not. My husband and I owned a bookstore in Dayton called Aragon Bookshop. I went with my husband the next day to work in the store. Around noon a woman came into the bookstore and asked excitedly if we had a UFO section of books. I said yes and got up to show her where the books were. I asked her if she was interested in UFOs and she said, not until last night. I asked her what had sparked her interest the night before. She said that her and a friend had seen a lot of UFOs late at night. She said that they were driving near Wright State University when they saw them. When I asked where she said they were near where all the construction was going on near Colonel Glen Highway. She said her and her friend observed them for several hours. She said that they were afraid to leave to go tell someone as they thaug HT they might not be there when they came back. She said they had a bright white light on the front and that they had a green, a red and a purple light on them. She said they would hover and move slowly and then they would zoom off and disappear out of sight traveling at a high rate of speed. She said there were a lot of them. She said that the next day she called her relative who was a colonel at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base which is close by where she saw the UFOs she described the crafts and he said that there was nothing that the military had that could do what these UFOs did as she described it to him. I relayed my sighting to her of the night before in featuring Wayne, Indiana. We marveled at the coincidence of seeing the same type of craft in two distant locations on the same night. She bought some UFO books and left. I often wished I had gotten her name and address so that I could contact her again. One other little tidbit of information. When I was 19 years old in 1967 and attending Wright State University I lived off of Linden Avenue with a nice lady who let me stay there in exchange for taking care of her children from time to time. There was a little store on Linden Avenue that I frequented to buy food, stamps and etc. There was a young man who worked there who I became friendly with. One time he asked me if I would like to go see the aliens that were at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. He said that his father was a higher up in the military there, I think he said a colonel, and that his father had taken him to see them before since he had a security clearance to where they were being kept. He said he could get me in if I wanted to see them. I was scared to go and declined his offer. I have regretted that many times since then. Occurred the 14th of July 1988, 1 hour 0 minutes and 0 seconds local location, Fort Wayne, Indiana, USA shape, oval duration, 10 minutes no of observers, 2 characteristics, lights on object and object that was just above the trees, hovering and taking off in a split second, out of sight. My husband and I were talking one night, and I saw a bright light out of my window, looked out and there it was, hovering over the trees. I could see it had an almost octagon shape and there were lights surrounding the craft. We were both stunned, just staring at waiting for it to do something. Before we knew it, it went straight up out of sight. We kept staring out the window in disbelief, then all of a sudden it came back just as quickly as it left. It didn't make any noise that we could hear, but it continued to leave and come back five times. <laughs>